Iowa State University takes great pride in how we conduct our business. And those of you that know me personally know that I work really hard to make sure my staff and I adhere to that. That being said, we've been on the short end of several controversial calls. And it's hard to sit idle and watch ESPN, Fox, other announcers, not debate, but to feel sorry for Iowa State because maybe there'll be another apology for a call. Coach Rhodes and I have tried to deal with that internally and have tried to do it the right way. But it's no longer fair to put our student athletes, our coaching staff, and our fans in that position. Coach Rhodes and I, a year and a half ago, raised an issue and we were the lone vote. And ever since that time, we've been on the short end of the stick. I don't know how things change, but it's frustrating and it's not fair. It's not fair to our, again, to our players. It puts them in the position that I know a couple of them did some things during halftime that are inappropriate. Uh, I don't fault them. I don't fault them. They're frustrated and they're frustrated with a lack of action. So we'll continue to work internally through the appropriate channels. But I felt it was appropriate to stand up here right now and stand behind our team, stand behind our coaching staff. And I recognize that the Big 12 does not allow comments to be made on officiating. And I recognize there's penalties for that. But folks, our institution's been penalized already. I can think of three situations where the fine has been pretty great because we lost games as a result of calls that either we were apologized for or the media certainly felt we should have been apologized to. We can't get that back. That ends careers for football coaches, ADs, and presidents. And so something's got to be done. I don't know what it is, but there needs to be more accountability on what happens in certain situations. Thank you. What's your next step, Jimmy, to the conference office? We'll deal with it internally like we should. I just felt there needed to be a public statement because this is about Iowa State University, and it's not fair for our institution to continually be put in this position and not be able to comment. Thank you.